JPJP, the JPJP, the JP show. Let's get into get it off your chest, JP. So get it off your chest, JP. I want to talk about real quick. Um, like, I don't know if you guys, I don't know how old you guys are out there, but I just turned 40 years old, right? And so 40 years old, I'm trying to find where I'm at. 40 years old, and I don't know why I am so horny. Oh, my God. I just turned 40 in December. And since I've turned 40, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I have been a horn dog. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, I'm like so horny every single day. What the heck is wrong? I promise you, and this is no joke. When I was in my 20s, I was not no horn dog like this. Like, of course, you know, you like to have sex and all that type of stuff. But, you know, I was doing all types of stuff. I wasn't, it wasn't, it was a thing, but it wasn't like a major thing. And I'm noticing, like, since I turned, you know, I would say late 30s, and now that I'm 40, especially since I hit 40, something has ignited in me, and every time I, I could go outside. And another thing I want to say to it, when I was in my 20s, I, this is how you know I wasn't on it like that. Like, I was on it, but not crazy the way I am now. When I was in my 20s, I didn't even watch porn. And this is real talk. When I was in my 20s, I did not watch porn. I didn't like it. It was whack to me. You know, I'm like, yo, this is like, why are people watching this? But, yo, I'm like the porn kind of sword now. <laughs> I'm like the porn king. Like, I can't stop watching porn. I'm so freaking horny. Every time I go outside... I'm just like looking up people, women's skirts. I'm, I'm like looking down, looking at their cleavage, looking at their breasts, looking at their ass, looking at they. I mean, I'm like a freaking, I'm like out of control. And I'm telling you, this all started when I turned 40. I was not like this before. Something, something has happened to me. And I thought that, I thought that, um, that. People said, whenever you get older for men, whenever men get older, they lose their testosterone. But man, listen, I think I'm gaining testosterone. <laughs> listen, I think I'm gaining testosterone because I'm just walking around with just like a hard dick all day. <laughs> listen. I apologize. I know this is getting a little crazy, but it's the truth. And I got to get this off my chest. I'm walking around with just like a hard pipe every day, all day. And I'm just like so exhausted carrying this thing around. <laughs> Yo, I'm so exhausted carrying this hard pipe around everywhere. Like, man, it's like, and it's to be honest with you. It's like anything, everything is like, like getting me up. Everything and anything is getting me up as far as women go. You know what I'm saying? Not like I'm just cooking or whatever, but I could just have like a thought of a woman and it's like, boom, you know what I'm saying? Or especially when I go outside, sometimes I don't even want to go outside <laughs> because I'm like, yo, as soon as I see a woman, I'm just, I, listen, if you guys are experiencing, maybe this is a 40 thing. Maybe it's going to, as I get into my 40s, maybe it's going to cool off and it's going <laughs> to <it> cool off. <laughs> yo, I need a bucket of ice right now. <laughs> maybe I like my hormones is going to calm down. But, oh man, I, I don't. I've never experienced this before. Like, and, and I know we don't talk about these type of things and we need to talk about these type of things because 
then we need to be able to relate somehow to each other to know that maybe like this is a normal thing. But I know that we don't talk about, you know, our hormones and our feelings and our emotions like that. But, you know, if you guys are watching this or listening to this, let me know if this is a 40 thing that happens with males or happen, happens to males with African descent whenever they hit 40. Because, man, listen, I've been I've been struggling. <laughs> I've been struggling. Like, I'm just like trying to cool myself down, relax. Just like I've been doing yoga. Listen, listen, I'm not joking. Like I've been doing yoga and all these different type of things to try to like calm myself down. I'm telling you, last night, and this is real talk. I was talking, I had met this lady and we were sitting and we was talking. And the whole time we was talking, I was just thinking about like putting my hand up her skirt. <laughs> like, I, I'm not joking. I'm not joking the whole time. And maybe... Listen, maybe this is a normal thing. We just never talk about it. Maybe this is a normal thing. Maybe women, maybe that woman that I was talking to, maybe she was, maybe she was thinking about grabbing me in my pants and ripping my pants off me or something like that. You never know. But, you know, I definitely was talking to her and I was just like, I'm just like, man, I just want to put my hand up. <laughs> Like, we was having a conversation and everything was cool or whatever, but that's the way I am right now. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know if you relate to what I am saying, but I'm telling you the honest truth that I was not like this before. Before I turned 40, I was not like this. Another thing that I noticed too, that since I turned 40, is that my, um, I don't want to say I have anger issues. But I would say not not even anger issues. Not, it's not even anger issues. I would say like I'm a little bit more aggressive than I was, you know, in my years previously. Like I don't know if you I, maybe you get to a certain age and it's just but like like and it's not and it's not like aggressive with people. It could be it can't be aggressive with people. But it could be aggressive with anything. It could be aggressive with my content. It it could be aggressive with. You know, not allowing somebody to run over me. Because when I was in my 20s, I was kind of like that. Like, like people, I would do a lot of things for people and people kind of run, kind of would like run over me and type of stuff like that. But now I'm like, nah, like I'm like, I'm like really aggressive. Like I, I remember, like this is something I would have never did before. Like I went to Wendy's and, you know, when you go to these fast food restaurants, these people are like weirdos. So I get to the window and the girl is like hanging out the window on some weird shit, some shit I've never seen before. She's hanging, it's like two girls, matter of fact, and they're both at the window. Well, I never seen two people at a drive through window before. They're both at the window and one of the girls is actually hanging out of the window. So I pull up to the drive through and the, the girl, the other girl, she asked me for my 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 um payment, you know, my car. I give her my car, and then the other girl, she's not even doing nothing, y'all. Keep it a buck. She's not doing, and she's just hanging out the window. And so I asked her, I'm like, is first I was like, is there a reason why you hanging out the window like that? And then she was like, um, she was like, I'm I'm just um I'm working or something like that. She said, and then I was like. Like, why are you staring? Like, I'm like, why are you staring at? Like, I'm like really like putting the pressure on her. I would have never did that before. I would have never like challenged, like challenge a stranger like that. I would have never did that before. But like, I'm challenging her because she's like staring at me all at the same time. That's the one thing that they do down south, which if you're from New York, you're going to have a hard time like down here because down here, like they stare, they like really stare at you. Like hard body stare, like they just like with their mouth open, like 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 <laughs> like just looking like. And I'm like, yo, like, and that's how she was. She was just looking at me, like like gazing at me with her mouth open. I'm like, is there a reason why you're staring at me like this? And she was like, oh, I was just thinking about something. Like, what was you thinking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? So to get back to 
my topic of me being so damn horny. I don't know, guys, if you guys can help me out with this, if you guys can let me know if this is a 40 thing, if, if, if at 40 for males, and I know for women, I do know women, you know, they gain testosterone at a certain age, and maybe 40, maybe 45, they gain testosterone, and so in those ages between like 40 and 50, or maybe even 60, they're like always horny or whatever the case is, but... I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, I'm a horn dog. And listen, if any woman, if you want to get it, my dick stay hard all the time. <laughs> listen, for all the ladies out there, if you're listening to me on the JP show, if you if you are looking for a little winky in the pinky, <laughs> a little pinky in the brain, listen. I'm always up, <laughs> literally, <laughs> I'm always up, so I don't know what it is, but I'm always up, As a matter of fact, I'm going to go to the doctor and ask the doctor what's going on, maybe the doctor can tell me, maybe the doctor can tell me what the heck is going on, and maybe in my 20s, maybe that was abnormal, maybe what I was going through in my 20s was abnormal, maybe... Maybe it was normal. I don't know what I don't know what the situation is right now. But all my ladies, all my ladies, if you are looking to uh let's get it on. Listen, um, I'm always up 